Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Gloomhaven. In this episode we are going to continue from the Ice Crag Ascent to the Scorch Summit. I've just decided that we're going to take on this dragon and uh, make sure that all the fears of the Gloomhaven merchants and guards are at ease. So um, yeah, without further ado, we've got no city events. We can't get these perks until we go back to Gloomhaven. So let's go to the Scorch, Scorch Summit right away. Standing before the great, proud Drake, you see nothing to discuss with the monster. If it wants your help, it's certainly for a nefarious purpose. The Drakes you've met previously certainly haven't been very kind. You ready your weapons with determination. So, it's to be that way, is it? The Drake sighs. Well, I suppose I could eat, if you insist. It takes in a deep breath. So you've only got Drakes to fight. Oh wow, look. <laughs> Elder Drake is just immune to everything. 80 health? My god. Okay, that's going to be fun. Uh, i got all these other Drakes to fight through. Lovely. Right. Um, I think I'm going to do streamline. I don't think I'm going to be taking any long rests. If it, what type of mission this is. Uh, let's see what sort of cards I could take. Is there anything that could be useful? Uh, do we really want things? Because things... These summons are going to die very quickly to AoE attacks from the Spitting Drakes. Mm. I don't really know what else I could take. Strengthen all allies is good. As well adjacent allies are, that's good. Stunning would be handy. If I get my summons out and just wail on them, that'd be cool. Right. Um, okay. Neiman. Um, gain seven or fewer experience, or your health at the end of the time is equal to two or less. I mean, that one's quite likely, but also seven or fewer experience. If, it's, if the scenario is quite short, that is definitely possible. Um, but this one's more likely. So let's do that. Um, I don't know if there are multiple rooms in this. I don't think there are. I mean, there could be. Be the first to kill a monster during the scenario. Neither are really possible. I'll go for the opener one. Your health. Fast healer is possible. Have one or more monsters present on the map at the beginning of every round. I don't know if there are doors or not. Um, if it's all one room, then this is possible. Yeah, let's assume that is the case. What was the other one? Yeah. Um. I don't know if I'm going to change any of my cards. I'm really happy with sort of the what can I have right now. I might put another stun, maybe. That is a possibility. I also miss, I do miss this little heal from bounce back. I don't know what I can take out and put in its place. Hmm. Maybe I ditch... I mean, Resolute Sand can do a lot of damage on very low health. And the, the, the higher levels I get, Resolute Sand will just do even more damage. Hmm. I've got stuns and things, though. I've got, like, two stuns in my kit. I've got disarms, so I should be okay. Yeah. Oh, did I just select that? No, I didn't. Okay. Right. Let's go to Scorch Summit and take out this Drake. Well, while the scenario is loading, of course, as always, if you're enjoying the series so far, then feel free to leave a like, a wee comment, and let me know. I'm going to do a couple more recordings today, hopefully, so I might. I don't know what I'm going to go to next after the Scorch Summit. Probably some little side missions, maybe. Or maybe we could take out one of the main, the main quest stories, the one that we unlocked ages ago. Um, we'll see. 
we still got the voice to deal with. Um, I think I keep procrastinating on that. <laughs> we shall see. Is it one room? Yes, it is one room. Right, okay then. Kill the Elder Drake. Whenever the Elder Drake summons something, Zephyrs, Zephyrs, it flies to the next dark pit hex. Oh, it's just going to hop around. <sighs> Alright. I'm definitely setting up defensive stance because I don't need much movement. I need tankiness. You need to go to the front and you can put your summons at the back. That's pretty good. The bear can go here. It's an obstacle, but that's alright. Oh, no, actually, no. Oh, the bear can't go this turn then. I'll go, I'll go really slowly with. And hopefully, then the bear will go and attack this uh, rending drake. I can then disarm next turn very quickly. That sounds like a good idea to me. Right, you're putting down a summon. That's a sure bet. And you can do that late. Uh, but then the next summon will be really slow to attack, which is not ideal. There's a chest in the corner. Hmm. Uh, bottom half. I think healing is probably going to be good. So I'm probably going to get attacked by somebody. Um, I really don't know what to... Maybe I poison this and then do a strength and attack. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm going to set up defensive stance. And then maybe I shield myself early. So then the thing attacks me. I've got a shield 3. Yeah, I don't know what you do. I think I think I just move, I go late. I think, and I can react to what they've done. That's probably the easiest thing to do. I can stun some things for next turn, maybe. And on the pain's very. It's not very. I've only got one late card, which is really not ideal. So I might just go blood packed, and then. Maybe like dazing wound. <sighs> yeah. Wait for them to do stuff and then we'll go. What are they doing? Oh, okay. That works. What's the Elder Drake doing? Attack 5 in a massive configuration. Can it hit me? 3 away. No, it can't. Awesome. And that's why you go slow. <laughs> that worked out perfectly. Oh, you know, I'm not going to get any benefit from the the shield, sadly. Uh, here's what it is. I could, I, could, I could attack it if I wanted to then. Awesome. That's good. Right. Okay, so I'll apply defensive stance. It all depends what the spinning drakes are doing. Uh, this spinning drake will hit the bear. Do they have movement? They do have movement. Four. Yeah, it's going to get hit. So yeah, I'm going to definitely apply the shield. 
I hope we survive and then um, the summoner can heal. It's not poison. Nice. Takes no damage. Wait, what? Uh, where's that strength one coming from? Uh, I think that's a bug. Uh, I shouldn't be strengthened. I should be uh, muddled. <laughs> that's not right. Oh, unless. Oh no, is it because of an item? Oh, because of the Drake scale helm. Wow. Oh, no, I need to do this, don't I? Oh, wow. That's amazing. I didn't even think that item would be that good. But against Drake's, it's actually pretty decent. Oh, poor bear. Okay, right. So, do I just go to hit the... Hmm. I stun one of these? Yeah. Now, do I target this or do I target the. I think I probably target the Spitting Drake. And just try and eliminate them. Because it can summon, that's the problem. I can't stun it. I could stun the Drake here, which I think is decent. And I'll. Yeah, I'll curse it. So he doesn't get a turn. Yeah, I'll, I'll use healing potion now just to get out of the way. Ah, lost the wound. That's a shame. Okay. Um. Right, easy choice. You're gonna poison this Drake so he can die more easily next turn, hopefully. And then strengthen the bear, and then hit this thing. Nice, okay, so that should be finished off next turn, the bear can then deal with this. Amazing. Good stuff. Right, let's get the fawn shooter down. Put it here. Let's hope it doesn't die instantly next turn. That'd be really awkward. Um, I'm gonna probably heal. Yeah, I'm gonna heal you. Yeah. Awesome. Very good. I can't go very quickly. Um, I can't get my other summon up. Just asking for trouble. So I might do an attack. I could disarm these two things. Yeah. Disarm this and this. I think that's a good use. Um. I need to do blood hunger, but I need it to go over here. Uh, can I kill? Because mm, I mean, the bear's going to attack this and focus that, so I won't be able to really utilize that attack very well. Hmm. I guess I could move and shield, I suppose. I could move here and disarm two things. Yeah, this could work. Um, I can do practical plans and tactical order. I can move three and hit the Drake, or I can move over here. There's a few different options. So let's move three because of shield, yeah. That works. 
And you, I think, gonna hit the Drake. There's a Drake. That makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, I could do a lot of damage. I could do reckless offensive and none the pain. I could do get a lot of attacks in this turn. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oh, they're summoning two of these things. Great. Okay. Brilliant. Um, okay, the bear's going to kill this. So then he can walk forward and sound this and this. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay, nice times two. I guess I can go get the coin. I've got a range four. Disarm this and disarm this one. There's only one I have to worry about this turn. That works for me. Um, I'm going to shield you. Disarm these two things. So then the summoner is completely safe this turn. And so is the fawn shooter. Awesome. And now walk towards the bear. So that's all working out nicely. I think I might get these two cards back. Disarming two things is just too good. So let's do this. Ancient Ward. I can do Venomous Ally. Yep. That sounds very good to me. Alrighty, okay, let's do this. Take two damage, so I can target the Spinning Drake and the Elder Drake. And I'll just hit the Elder Drake with all of these attacks. Good. Slowly getting there. Do I move? Why well, yeah, I had to get click it's gonna it's gonna summon, so it's gonna move all the way over here. So I'm one space closer. Do I want to play stamina potion? Not right now, because I don't quite know what I need. So the Drake does nothing. Brilliant. Okay. So you're going to move over here. Good. Okay, that thing's going to die. I'm going to step back and just kill this rending drake. I might move, I'm going to move here so I'm in range if I want to do a, an attack 3 next turn. I'm not going to heal with her and I'm not going to use this healing potion so I can get all 5 health back. Do I want to do... Hmm. Or I could just heal 3 with biting with next turn. What else can I do next turn? I could just do that. Yeah, let's face down a potion. Get these two guns back. So where are they going to get summoned? Behind him, I guess. Here they are. they get a turn? I didn't think they get a turn. Aye, strengthened again. Awesome. <laughs> Permanently strengthened. Hey, what do they do? 
Move to attack four. What? Invulnerable to all damage? Oh, for goodness sake. Right, so I've, got to, I've got to just rush to kill this thing. Damn. I might just do Divide in Mind to get this thing to attack twice. Yeah. Uh, I could disarm these two things. It's a moon to poison, right? Yeah. Uh... I can move the bear then. Bear will attack this, then the bear can move over here to do this spitting drake. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm going to do strength and agony, I think. Yeah, go really quickly and move to next to this thing and hit it. And then same with you, I think. Just try to ignore these. I can disarm these two. One, two... Oh, I can only disarm one of them. Hmm... One, two, three... I can disarm this one. And I won't be able to use Ancient Ward. Yeah, maybe I won't be able to do Rampage after all. That's not a very good move. I need to disarm these two things. So let's just do something like a pat, uh, unfocus aggression to move like here, disarm these two. Yeah. That's a good idea. And what are you going to do? Um, hammer blow and. Oh, that's a terrible. That's not a very good attack, is it? <laughs> I'm going to have to do it like this to go as quickly as possible. Hmm, this is going to summon and that could attack one of these two things, I guess. Yeah. Let's use Daybreak. Uh, it's summoning again. I think it's super sorry. Oh shit! I don't have my boots. Oh dear, that's a problem. Oh, well, I'm just going to take out this spitting drake then. Yeah, let's just take out the spitting. I thought I had more. I thought I had my boots. I forgot I burnt my boots. Damn. Are you dead? Very good. Right, do I need... I need movement, right? I need one... Two, oh no, I can, I can move here with two. What was if this thing is there? Is, does the Elder Drake take precedent? Or does the Spitting Drake have to... push it somewhere else? I'm not sure. I think having fatal f dazzling, a uh, dazing wound would be useful, and maybe strength and agony. See, so yeah, I'm going to play stamina potion. Hey, good stuff. Well done. Uh, right, okay, I'm s I'm gonna decide. I can attack this thing to get a little bit of damage in. Actually, if I stand here, one, two, three, four. Oh, I'll, s I'll undo waypoint. I'll just move to here. So I'm moving range four of these two. Perfect. Right.
slowly getting there, bit by bit. Uh, right. Okay, so you're gonna attack this thing. The more damage I can get to the Elder Drake, the better. Twenty-nine down, fifty-one to go. Um, I might summon next turn. I'll summon like quickly. I know it sounds a bit weird, but I might do that. Right. Um, okay, this is a bit of a shame because I'm going to walk all the way over here with my boots, and then the thing is going to fly all the way over here. I'm going to get the chest next turn, I suppose. Yeah, I'm just going to have to do it. Hey. Oh, it gets muddled. Oh, wow. I don't know, it's not immune to muddle. It's immune to everything else. Got the, yeah, you don't see these enemies, these Zephyrs, in any other situation. Spinning Drake, where's he gonna move to? Oh, are you gonna block in the. Oh, no, it's gonna move here. That's. What? Ow. <laughs> They're immune to everything. So I'm going to go and get the, the chest. Uh, I'm not in range. Which is a shame. Just have to... Right. Um, you... Just attack as quickly as possible, I guess, right? Uh, I don't have a good top attack. I, I lost that base 5. Hmm. Rampage might be the thing to do here. Because I'll be 3 strength and base 2s, which is quite a lot. So I might just do that. Um... What's the biggest attack I can do? Five. I want to go as quick as possible though. You need to heal. You can't get attacked by everything. Huh. Have to tank in yeah, the Spain Drake, which isn't ideal. Could throw down the Void Eater, I suppose, instead of attacking. Asking for trouble? Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I'll just do it anyway. Sunkeep, we're gonna deal with this next turn. Yeah. Oh shit, LJ's attacking. Oh bloody hell. Uh... Hmm, can the LJ hit? Oh yeah, Eldrick's gonna hit all these three. Curses. Ah, oh, you're doing AoE with the spe- Ah, oh, damn it. So the 
Uh, might not die. This uh, Void Eater. That's gonna be a big attack. Oh no. Okay, that could be way worse. Oh, the animation's cool though. Oh, come on, Void. Uh, you can do better than that. Right, okay, heal self. And then do rampage. And let's see how many attacks it can, how well it can do. Okay, shame I got a times two and a plus two on the same turn, but it's what it is. Disarm. Yeah, it is. I might do more. I might. I might do stamina potion. I get more back, so I can attack with a bear really quickly. I do like venomous ally or something, or oh, concentrated rage, or blood hunger. Ah, uh, you have it. I could have cursed. I could have stunned this one. Ah, missed a trick there. Oh well, it's fine. I'm sure Sunkeeper, uh, Summoner can survive. Why am I saying Sunkeeper? Right, um, I need to do Strength and Agony, so let's walk here. Alright, okay. Over halfway. Oh? Oh, I might actually auto attack it, mate. Oh, do I auto attack? Ah, if I attacked it, I would have died. That's going to do an AoE thing, which is not ideal. I might actually walk up to it and hit it. Yeah, I, I should have attacked with range this turn. I could do it with this, I suppose. And then walk away. Yeah, I need to try and kill this thing, because it's, it's going to be very annoying. Not really what I really wanted to do on this turn, but um, if Sunkeeper moves here. Yeah, these two are gonna go from this. Go over here. Heal up. Do I want to get a card back? I think I do. Hmm. Do I do an attack? I might try and get the summons to attack again. They should do more damage than my one attack. Right, okay, let's go get the chest and let's hope it's not terrible. And I'm in prime position. If it, it flies over here, I can walk up to it. Ready? Right. Oh, Drake Scale Armor now. Getting all the armors. All the Drake Scale stuff. Ow. Actually, they're doing base 4 attack, aren't they? Yeah. And these things are very annoying. One HP, but they uh, they're untargetable. Very nice. Um, 
I'll heal and I'll do the bottom half of Divided Mind. Yeah. Yeah, let's do. Yeah, yeah, let's do these two. More. So that's a base two, base five, base three. That's pretty good. Um, you're going to go slowly. Oh, you're going to get boxed in, aren't you? I can move one, so you're not going to get boxed. You have to short rest. Um, blood pack would be good now. I don't have it. Oh, Defiance of Death. Yeah, yeah, I can do Defiance of Death now. Elder Drake attacking for range 3. It might... Is it going to be dead this turn? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'll be very close to death, though. That's promising. Right, let's do the attack four first. And then does a bomb half attack three and then heals for three, which is very good. Ah, damn. Unlucky. At least it wasn't a lost card, so. Fine, and the bear can tank the Zephyr. Um, nope, I don't need to play this. Right, Defiance of Death. I don't need to move. Oh, damn. I'll just stay in place. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, it could be left on very, very low health after this. So let's do... Yep, the attacks first. Oh, bear first. And then, yep, fawn shooter. Attack the drake. Very good. Nine health, and I will heal the uh, heal Scurry because Scurry's going to attack the Zephyr. I think that's how they're pronounced, or Zephyr, or have you? <laughs> All right, that works for me. If you're going to miss. Um, you may as well just go and pick up the coin. You know, short rest. You're not going to get boxed in by these two things, so that works. Yeah, can you imagine if these things had boxed me in, I'd never get past. I've got no jump. Ow. <laughs> oh, you draw the curse. Uh, yep, I guess you're gonna do this. Not very good attack though. Not very good turn, but I can move over and yeah. Uh, you can go. F yeah, I'll just do two attacks. I think the Elder Drake should die this turn. Uh, do I short rest? Yeah, I guess so. Go get a coin. If uh, if it's either way, I'm going to be able to get to it. I'm going to get a coin. I get a little bit of XP. I can do dazzling charge. I can lose the um. This lost card that works for me. And you should do this. Right, this might be the final round. This has been a very quick mission.
Oh, I went really quickly for no reason. Oh well, that's fine. Is there summoning? No. Remove XP. I can go get a coin. Do I need a shield? Yay, good stuff. I'm gonna get a coin. I think she deserves it. However, the end of the scenario is two or less. Well, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> that's right, a bit of a weird mission, this one. That's right. Hey, well done, Wojtek. Show him who's boss. <laughs> Um. Hmm. I mean, realistically, the summoner is going to kill the elder Drake, so I might just spawn the snake and then run and get a coin. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I can go and get a coin. So I'm trying to maximize my XP and coins. This way now I kill the Elder Drake and then something else happens I don't expect. Oh, I can make the dark so that someone can get another XP. Not that she really needs it. Four damage onto Wojtek. Wojtek's beefy boy, so no danger. Hey! Dead. Very well done. Oh, I've got boots, so I can go and uh, go and get a coin. Move the fawn shooter to get an XP and then uh, go and get a coin. Sorry about that, perfect timing. Right at the end of the scenario, and it looks like uh, I've, I've just been delivered pizza. <laughs> right, let's move the fawn shooter over here. Uh, skip attack because it's not really much you can do, and then move on to the coin. I have Alina over there just taking a massive beating. She's got the shields to deal with it. Yeah, these Zephyrs do a lot of damage. Just, just slowly, just there, and they're just—you can't target them, so you can't kill them easily. Very annoying. It all worked out just fine. Yay! With one final blood-curdling screech, the giant Drake falls off its perch and crashes to the snowy ground. It appears to still be alive, but its breaths are weak and shallow. Bloodthirsty and obtuse. I don't know why I should have expected more, the drake whispers. Congratulations on your stunning success. I'm sure you will be heralded as heroes upon your triumphant return. Adorned in crowns of gold and cloaks of silk, riches will be laden upon you and five thousand... The drake's whispers trail off and the breathing stops. Oh, that's the end of the Drake. Um, how did the summoner kill the most of my enemies? That's that's very funny. Oh well, very strange mission. I think that's probably is that the shortest mission we've ever done. Mission? What is that? Mission? Mission? Scenario. There we go. <laughs> Problem solved. Um, yeah, forty-five minutes. Wow, new record. Good stuff. Um, 
good, good, good. Um, tanked quite a lot, but it didn't really matter. It was just, just burn all the good cards and kill it. I got a couple of um, of these objectives too, which is lovely. Right, we'll head back to Gloomhaven, and because this video is so short, we'll um, we'll do any level ups and whatever, and then we'll stop there, and we'll we can decide what we're gonna do next time. Um, yeah, I might do one of the one of the, the quest lines we unlocked ages ago was uh, when we were with Hale. Um, she felt the influence of, I can't remember what it was, it was like a certain vessel and from three different directions. So we could maybe investigate one of them if we wanted to. Needless to say, the Drake's sarcastic predictions do not come to pass. <laughs> you report your deeds to the Gloomhaven authorities and receive a modest reward to add to the modest amount of treasure you found on the Scorched Summit. Hey, 20 gold, 2 reputation, and a prosperity. Very nice. Could be better, but could be way worse. I think with the summoner, maybe when she reaches like 100 gold, we might retire her. Um, I can then just sell all the items and stuff. We can see. Feel free to put in the comments below how long you want Luna the summoner to stick around with us. I can basically sell all my items and just whatever we want. Um, oh, she's leveled up, and Naaman's leveled up, and leveled up, and they've all leveled up. Amazing. Right, so let's do the level, level up now, and let's see what we've got. Luna, level 8. Okay, um, intervening apparitions. Next time, summon allies would suffer damage. They suffer no damage. There's basically like defiance of death, but for allies only. Um, remove all curse... From your attack modifier deck, then shuffle the attack modifier discard pile back into the deck. Okay. Otherworldly Rage. One summoned ally within range 3 performs an attack, a normal attack of plus 2 wound and poison with you controlling the actions. Well, I normally use the Fawn Shooter and it already applies poison, so that's not great. Swap allies with any one summoned ally. Hmm. Well, I mean, Staff of Visions is that's one we saw in a previous was that level seven. Move three and strengthen all adjacent allies is quite nice. Uh, but I've got, I've got a lot of range stuff, so we're gonna be split up. When it's written like this, otherworldly rage looks cool. I mean, it's a summoned ally, so it could be Voitech. So I think just for flexibility, I would just take this, and it will allow me to do another attack with a summon. I don't know what I'm going to take out though. <laughs> Maybe there's negative energy, honestly. Am I really going to have the, this void? Having a range, another range thing is pretty cool though. Maybe I get rid of this divided mind. But the bomb half attack is cool. Huh. Yeah, maybe I might swap them. Let's see how that goes. We need a perk. Okay. Um. Poison, but the form shooter already adds poison. So maybe element cards? Uh, I don't, my my um, my other characters don't really use any of these elements. They're not very powerful. Um, I'm kind of yeah. Okay. And heal one summons. I just normally just get they just get one shot. So healing is not great. Uh, yeah, poison's not really good either. These rolling modifiers aren't really good for me. Um, I guess I could maybe do like burial. Yeah. Or maybe we do it when. So yeah, that's a question. Should we wait until Luna maybe just reaches level nine? Because let's be honest, she's not going to take very long to get there. So as soon as she reaches level nine, Luna retires. Yeah. Maybe that's the way we should do it. 
Okay, right. Name it. What have you got? Level six. Uh, Devil horns. That's fairly decent. Subtle destruction. Attack four. You may suffer two damage to ignore the target's shield. Ah. That's one thing we don't really have. We don't have a lot of good stuff to get through shields right now. So I might actually get Unstoppable Destruction. I do like this having two attacks. I think Unstoppable, Des Unstoppable Destruction might be the way to go. Again, I don't know what I'm going to get rid of, because I like everything. Um... Maybe I get rid of Numb the Pain. Shielding isn't really critical, especially if I want her to get exhausted. Two available perks. I can't get rid of this minus two or minus one, which isn't great. So if that's the case, I might keep these zeros in. Putting in a stun card, or putting in these plus two cards, actually, it could be the way to do it. Yeah, let's add these plus two in. Alright. Oh yeah, uh, let's look at this item. Drake scale, you're immune to poison and wound. Okay, quite there'll be quite a lot of missions where that's it could be useful, um, but other times it won't be. This shield is just gonna be better. So I can keep it on her. I can just swap them in and out depending on what sort of enemies we face. Uh Oh no, you didn't level up. No, because you're getting no XP. <laughs> right, let's get a perk though. Um Yeah, remove minus one seem to be a good idea. I could also ignore scenario, negative scenario effects. Yeah, I might do the negative. Yeah, ignore negative scenario effects. And have you leveled up? Yes, you have. Okay. Level 6, Scarion Voitek. Or level 7, rather. Storm Sigil. Um, a Wind Totem. <laughs> I just one damage. Ugh, that's not great. Ooh, Tyrannical Force. Oh! Rain stun. All summon allies within range three perform a move minus one. So I don't like the bomb half of this card, but the top half is pretty nice. You shouldn't really turn down stuns. Um, is there any other thing I'm going to do? Probably not. This may be an attack three pierce. But the bomb half is pretty nice. I can't really give up a stun. No, I don't think so. Let's take Trinical Force. Um, so instinctively, maybe I get rid of Focus Aggression. Because I've never used this bottom half of this card. I should really use it to have a base 5 attack. But I think I've got enough damage in this um, composition right now that I don't really need it. So let's switch these out. And you got two perks. Okay then, so that's going to be an easy choice. We get the other wound. And then we get the other plus one. We're going to mobilize. Just adding more and more and more damage in. Then get the healing. Do we need this rolling um, rolling earth? I don't think. Cool. Excellent. Oh well. That was very successful. Um, Naaman's also got a lot of gold. So do I actually equip this... Um, I wanted to do this card with Strengthen at the bottom. Or do I do it to... See, the top top part of this card is terrible, whereas this card can actually be used for both halves. So yeah, I'm not going to do that now. Let's go into Enhancements. And on Resolute Stand, we shall add a Strengthen. Yeah. That sounds good to me. And... And what else can we do? Go to the merchant maybe for Melina. Melina might be able to go and get some shields. Um, Brilliant Blade is also really good for her. Uh, is there a tower shield? There is a tower shield. Let's prioritize getting that. 19 gold. Okay. So I could just get a Heater Shield if I wanted to instead of Brilliant Blade, but I'm going to be wasting a lot of light. Um, a bit of a shame. Yeah, I might hold off for now and try and get this Brilliant Blade. 
With defensive stance and chain mail and tower shield, I should have enough. And you... Just saving money, I guess. There's not really many other items we can pick. Oh, I guess another small item. Is there anything that would be really handy? Ring of Haste could be cool. You just play a card instantly. Um... Yeah, there's not really anything else I could do. Power potion. I could maybe just get the power potion and use it on like the first attack with Scurry that I do. Is it worth 36 gold? What else am I going to spend it on? That's the thing. <laughs> I do actually do a lot few attacks with Scurry, especially because I do do the disarms and stuff. So yeah, I might just get like a power potion. I mean, what else could I get? Ring of Haste I could get. Um, yeah, Skulls is pretty bad. My modified deck is pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, I could just get that. Just get the power potion and just use it when I attack something. Um, just with a normal stun or disarm just to get a little bit of extra damage onto it. Yeah, let's just do that. It's not the bear doing all the work, so that works for me. Uh, for the next mission we can put some money in. Um, could bless the summoner I suppose. I think I should have enough. I think 610 gold. Is that all the money I've put in? Yeah, it is. I've put 620 gold into the the donation pot so far. And yeah, Neiman can do it too. Nice. Okay. Um, so yeah, what do I do next turn? Uh, next time? Um, I could do the voice stuff, but again, I still don't really... I'm kind of... I might need to actually do the voice so we can actually go to the decrepit wood so Scurry and Voitech get one scenario towards their career objective but I'm really enjoying using Scurry and Voitech so they can hold on for a bit they might reach level 9 and be here for quite a while uh, but we could maybe do this soon um, Oh, we've been fighting lots of drakes, so maybe going to Drake's Nest might not be a bad idea. Hmm. Yeah, not certain. I want to try and keep some of these side quests for later. So maybe we'll have to just do the voice. Oh, do we do this thing with the Treasures Divide? That's right, the artifact. That's right, yeah, Hale was finding that the artifact was being influenced by sort of three different locations in the world. So maybe, maybe just maybe go to the Treasures Divide? Yeah, that might be the plan for next time. I just do that part of the... I think it seems like it's the main quest line. So we can maybe just do that. Yeah. So you know what I can do, since this episode is still quite short. We can quickly do the city event. So then, as soon as we come into the next episode... We're raring to go. City encounter. Um, a great revelry is underway at the new market. When you arrive to purchase supplies, investigating further, you discover the town is in the midst of a pie-eating contest. A group of sailors sit triumphantly at the long table on the makeshift stage. Crumbs and bits of fruit scattered all around. A man in the centre stands and addresses the crowd. Can no one best our pie-eating prowess? Step up and test your mettle. With nothing better to do, you head up to the stage. The contest goes well for you for a while, as you match the others pie for pie, but soon your eating starts to slow and the sailors are still going strong. So we yield to the pie or admit defeat, or we power through the pain, you will not be pestered. Oh, come on, we're like the most epic mercenaries of the of the realm, right? There's no way we can lose to this in a pie eating contest. Let's power through the pain. Oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, you admit a primal yell and continue eating. Pie after pie, your willpower cannot be broken, and eventually the sailors are forced to concede. However, you cannot even stand to shake your foe's hands. Your legs are boneless, and your stomach feels worse than it's ever felt before. You have earned glory and prize money, but all you want to do is lie down and wait for the horror to pass. We lose a perk point, but a lot of them leveled or got, um, what's it called? 
They leveled up on their perks, so that doesn't affect them. 10 gold each and a reputation. I'm not going to complain at that. And well, that paid for the Temple of the Great Oak. And that's where we're going to leave today's episode. And yeah, let's just say next time we shall go to the Treasure Divide. And that will give us hopefully maybe a couple of episodes. And by then, we'll be start receiving some feedback about the uh, the voice and all that sort of thing. And we can see what to do. But I am actually now, now I'm thinking about it, I'm tempted to just do the Mysterious Voices bidding. And then we can, t at least that's one mission in the li a Lingering Swamp. So then uh, Sky and Voitech are one closer to um, completing that. So I think that I think we might just do that, but I'll um, I think we'll go to the treasure divide and I'll let some feedback come in. I think and we'll see. Anywho, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's been a nice little short one today, um, but uh, sometimes we need that. And um, yeah, take care, everybody. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode where we go to the uh, treasure treacherous divide next Sunday at the same time. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.